Hi everybody, Robert back here again with more Ready Training. And today we're going to look at um, how we will create a ladder or how you might want to do table training. So here I've got some elements already in place. Okay, the idea for this family is that starting life, it may be a cable tray or even a ladder. So look at what I've got in here already. So we're going on our 3D view. I've got two side rails, reference line, and two rungs. Now this family is going to be a line-based family, and we'll see how the parameters work. So we want to go back to our reference level again. Now in the project browser, I can see the rung. I can see the rung here, and I'll right-click on the type properties here. And if I see the length here, I can see that it's controlled by the wrong width. And I'll click OK here. And click OK. Now let's find that parameter under our family types now. Now, there's our wrong width, as you can see. But I can't change it because it's controlled by this formula. This formula is width, which is 400 minus times two. So well width is 25 times two is 50. So we'll take 50 from width, that'll give us 350. We'll look at these other formulas a little later in this exercise. So click on okay. Now the first thing I wanna do, I wanna align one of these rungs to the first reference plane. So from the Modify tab, select the line, select the reference plane, the center point of the family, and lock it. And then we want to do that again vertically. So a center reference plane. And then we want to lock that one as well. Now this particular rung it's going to exist only if we have one rung in the ladder. So what we need to do now is apply a visibility parameter to it. So it's select the family and then properties. Under the graphics section, we have a visitor section. So we want to, we want to link this to the single rung parameter that I already have in the family and then click OK. Now we're going to repeat this with the other family. So we'll Select the align tool, select the reference plane, center point of family, lock it into place. Then select the center reference plane again, and the center of the rung, and lock it. Now we had a warning there that we can ignore, stating there was identical instances in place, but that's okay. Because it's not a shared family, so it won't recount it. So it's okay to ignore that one. So make sure you lock it. Now we also need to make sure we give it the correct visibility parameter. So select the family. And we can see that it's no link to the visible parameter. So we'll select it and we'll select multi run here and say OK. Now we want to maintain the selection set that has the multi run in it. So we're going to create a ray from this. So while I still select it, select the ray from the options bar, make sure linear is selected and we want constrained and we want to have two in the array. So I'm going to select one point from my array and then another point and then click so that we maintain our array. I know I want to align the second array object to this reference plane. The reference plane controls the run spacing right to the line tool and lock it. What we do to now is associate the rate number with the parameter. So I've got a parameter already created. So I can go down here and we say array num and click it and see what happens. When I select the array, 
and I join it to that array number, and you get the the beginnings of a ladder, basically. Now, if I go back to properties, and I change the length here, to say, uh, now you see the number of rungs here, they increase here. Now cancel that one. Now, and or they'll decrease based on the, let's make this say 500. So making changes to the wrong spaces will control the array length. So let's make this back to 3000 and click apply. Okay. Okay, so now let's see what happens if we load this into a project. So I'm going to open a new project. So I'm going to go new, uh, new project. We don't worry about the, what template we use. So I open this project. Now what I'll do now is I'll just window tile this WT. I'll do zoom all. And then we want to load this family into our project. Go load into project. Okay, we want to do it on the work plane. And there's our family. So I think this is probably the best way to do a cable tray. Yep, so there it is. That's a line-based family. And we can control this basically by just drawing in a line, adding a line in the front in the family. Or we can actually, we can pull this link back. So there you go, folks. So hey, thank you for watching this short video. Uh, any questions or comments, please uh, put it in the comment section or like this video or if you're not subscribed, subscribe. So thanks again, everybody, and have a great one, and please be safe. Bye.